Hello and welcome to the KDP beta of Flying Upload. The first thing we have to do is to get the application. We can put it to the basket, apply our discount code, start for free. After applying, the price drops to zero. Now you have to fill in your information, agree to the terms and hit purchase. Then you will get a purchase confirmation and then we have to go to our user account. Scroll down a bit. Under Downloads, you will find Flying Upload KDP. We can download it for macOS or Windows. In our case, we need it for Windows. So now we check our downloads. And then we have to extract it. It's a zip file, so you have to extract it. After that, we have to start the Flying Upload KDP launcher, which we just have extracted. Hit run. Now it is asking for the license key. You can find the license key on the website here. Just copy and paste it to the launcher and hit start. Now the launcher is downloading the main application and after downloading, it is installing it. So now we have to just wait. Now we have successfully installed the main application. We can select our country, now it is Germany, and go to edit. You can drag and drop your designs into the tool. So now we have to configure some settings as we don't have any manuscripts here at the moment. Our manuscripts are here with our designs. For example, this one is a line manuscript but we have to configure it in the settings. So just go to settings. The first areas for the general settings, you can select the light or dark mode, whichever you prefer. The upload speed, we will put it too fast. And the translation too. So if you hit the translation button up here, it will translate your design into one or multiple other languages. For example, for later, we can translate our design to French and Spanish. I will show you that later. Reload. So hit the auto login data info at flyload.com, so password. So you can use the auto login to automatically log in so that you don't have to do this manually. Now let's go to the manuscript. Here you're storing all the manuscripts so we can add our manuscript, the line one. Now we have added our first manuscript. Right side you can see some general information about the manuscript and now the manuscript is loaded into the flying upload tool and is stored in flying upload so you can remove it from your folder it doesn't matter so we can add the second one as well you can rename it or you can preview the script and check it if it's all right so after we have configured everything can start to tag our design. So I have prepared some data and we will switch it to English and just copy it here. So we are a bit faster. So for the description, which is a bit special, Amazon can handle HTML codes. For example, um, create gift idea. This would be a normal text. We can preview it with that little icon here. But let's say we want to have it italic. So then we can add some HTML tags. An HTML tag um, or HTML always has an opening tag like this one and a closing tag. Um, so be sure that you have both. So if you remove them, then you have to remove both for sure. So if you now check out the text, we see it is italic. We want to make it bigger, a header. So let's say headline one. And then we want to make a um, list. Let's say 20 pages, white paper, notebook. <clears throat> we 
can select the text and use on our root list. Now if you check out the text, it will look like this. So the HTML tags are providing the format that the browser knows how it has to format the text or Amazon as well. Then we can hit in some keywords. I will just add two. So the categories, Amazon has a lot of categories around 3,800 or 4,000 and all of them are in flying upload. So you can just search for them. We have a motivational design. So let's see what we find for motivation. So we can take this one. All of these categories are right out of Amazon. So it's all right. Then we add an outer. Let's say fly upload. And now we can add the manuscript. So we have previously configured our manuscripts. We have loaded these two manuscripts and now we can select one. Please keep in mind that flying upload already knows the size of the script and the amount of pages. And you can only add manuscripts to flying upload, which are, which have the right size, which is accepted by Amazon for sure. Then we can select the marketplace, set a price, and then let's go to the cover. Now we just have a PNG file, so we have to create and cover a P PDF file. Luckily, Flying Upload KDP can do this for you. You can select the text color. Let's try to match this color here. And the cover color, let's say navy. You can use the color picker or with right click the, the fast selection. Then you can click example, then it will create an example cover for you and you can see how it looks. Right, looks fine. And when you're uploading the design, it will create a cover for you and upload it automatically. So now we can hit save and we have saved our first design. If you, we look at our designs, we see that for our first design, an XML file was created. This file is containing all the relevant data we have just entered. So every design you tag has an XML file. So both files have to be in the same folder. I mean, they have to be together. You can move the, the files to whatever folder you would like to, but they have to be together because they belong together. So let's say now we want to translate our design to Spanish and French as we have cons configured it. So let's hit translate. Now we have successfully translated our design to French and Spanish. You can translate to whatever languages you would like to. Then we have some further functionalities like you can copy a design. So let's say we want to copy the data from design one to here. So hit in the number one for the first design. Now all the data is copied here, you can save it. Then we can, for example, use the duplicate, duplicate function, hit okay. Now we have successfully duplicated the design. Now we have it two times, one time here, one time here. And we have some further functionalities. Let's say you want to replace all of the text, like you can hit in an old word and the word you want to replace it, then you can replace some text. You can bulk copy designs and there are more functionalities. So I will now tag some designs and then we see each other at the upload. All right, so after we have finished tagging our designs, we can go straight to the upload. Just drag and drop the designs to the upload window. But before we start, the upload process is separated into parts. The first part is to upload the design, upload the manuscript and the cover. So then after that, Amazon has to process the cover and the manuscript, which takes a long time. So we will set, or like the upload process is setting the design to draft and continuing with the next one. After it has set all designs to draft, it will come back to the first one and publish the design. And then go back to the second one and publish that design and so on. So the upload is always separated into parts. The first one is to upload it and set it to draft. And the second one is to publish it and set the marketplace. All right, let's hit start. So we have configured um, our data for the auto login. Now flying upload is automatically logging you into your Amazon account. 
and starting the upload. So now it is entering all the data, selecting the category, continuing, now it is uploading the manuscript. So you can move the window around, but you should keep in mind that you should not make this window too small as then the elements change and the upload can have a problem. Here you can see how far the upload is and you can pause it, pause it or stop it at any time so you have full control over the upload. So now we are still waiting for the manuscript to upload, which can take a bit. After the manuscript is uploaded, Flying Upload is generating the cover based on the manuscript size, the colors you have to find and so on. So you don't have to create any cover. So everything is done automatically. Now the cover is uploaded. All right. So for uploading the next designs, I will speed the things a bit. So see you later. After all three designs are set to draft, it will continue with the second step of the upload. It is previewing it, setting the marketplace and publishing the design. So It is publishing the design or save it as draft, depends on how you take your design. In our case, it will set the designs to draft as they are not um, set to be published. Now continuing with the second one. Alright, so we have successfully finished the second design. Now it would continue with the third design. So let's pause it for a moment. Let's say you are stopping the upload here or it has some internet connection problems or whatever happens. Then we haven't finished the third design, right? So if we had start, it already knows, okay, something went wrong at the end, so do you want to continue to finish the, uh, this design? Yeah, sure, we want to finish it, so. Now it will not upload the design completely new. No, it will take the design which is already uploaded and set to draft and preview the cover, set the marketplace and publish the design, which you can see here. So let's say you're uploading a bigger stack of designs, let's say 50, and then you see, oh, there is a problem and you are stopping the upload, then you can still publish all the designs without having a, the problem of having some designs on draft there. And at the end of every upload, you will get a report. 
If there were any errors, you will see them here. If an upload fails completely, so if a design is not uploaded because there was a problem, you will see it here. And all successfully uploaded designs are here. All right, so I wish you good luck for the beta and upload as many designs as you want.